Oh, we're serving a living God. Come on. How many know we're serving a healing God? Oh, come on, man. How many knows that His name is Jesus? Oh, yeah. Amen. You know, I still believe in miracles taking place today. I'm just going to testify just for a minute before I get started over here, brother. My wife's aunt, she was in four stages of cancer. Come on. She went to the doctor and they were doing this chemo. They said, with chemo, we'll give you six months. Mm -hmm. But oh. without chemo, we'll give you three months. Mm -hmm. So me and my wife felt led of the Lord to go to her and pray for her and her uncle. Mm -hmm. We sat there and prayed for her. But at least we felt the Spirit to come down. Come on. All of a sudden, this woman, she's 65 now. Mm -hmm. She about knocked us out of the way. She got up out of her recliner. She started going down through the hallway. Come said, on. I shall live and not die. And Come I shall fire the works of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, how many give God praise? Last week, she went back to the doctor. She's seven years still cancer free. Come on. God is still a healer. God is still a laborer. Seven years later, she's still cancer free. The doctor told her last week, said, we don't know what you done. She said, he said, but it ain't nothing we done. She said, you're right. It's what my God done. He's still a healer. If you only be today, he's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's a God that changes not. He's a God that will not fail. He's a God that will not lie. He's an old God God. I may fail you. I may fall. But the Bible said, the righteous man falls seven times. Let him get back up. He's still a healer. Oh, oh. my dad, in October this year, or last year, October the 19th, they life fought him. He lives with me and my wife. And he's in his bedroom. I was there by myself at the time, just me and my dad. I called my sister and I said, they're saying they're not taking him to the hospital, they're going to life fight him. Come on. When we got there in the room, my sister got there. That's all phone come to my wife and, and they said he's gone. Mm. We lost him. Oh my. Oh, I want to start bawling, but I didn't have time to bawl. Yeah, come on. I had to pray. Yeah. Right. It's all phone wife. Right. And right. my wife told me. Yeah. She said, No, don't cry. Let's pray. Come on. Let's pray. Mm. Well, just on. a minute. We got he said, We got pulse, we got pulse, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come I on. said, I'm going with you. I got in the ambulance. We got about halfway to the airport. They said we lost him again. Come on. I, I didn't have nobody talk to then but Jesus. Come on. And I get a fear a little bit, Brother Billy. I didn't want to let it go my dad did. Come on. And he said, don't get us started. And I heard this voice speak to me. Come on. said, will these bones live again? Oh. I said, yes. They will live again. <laughs> they told my dad that he probably never walk again. Come on. Never be able to do again. My dad's done mowed his yard. I can't keep him off the lawnmower. I can't keep him out of his chicken house. But that's my God. He's still a healer. He's still a deliverer. If you only believe. I may get kicked out today, but that's going to be all right. You know why we ain't seeing miracles in churches anymore? We got a bunch of unbelievers up for praying for Come on now. They don't even believe. They just said, I told them the other day, and church here, I think happened, I didn't like it. But I said, I'm tired of praying for people. Oh, and believe they get healed, they go back to peace. Oh, God, I hope they do. Come on. Yeah. That ain't faith. It's faith is when it's looking possible. Right. And you can still look in the eyes and say, You shall live and not die. Oh. And shall pray the works of the Lord. Amen. I didn't know I'd never do a thing or not. Well, it ain't me, it's God. Yeah. It wasn't my wife, it's yeah. God. But when my dad got back to, he's in the horn horns for all this. I was ready to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. I was ready to go. Right. Yeah. I remember I done a funeral, I didn't want to let people go, but you know what? Sometimes you just ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. But my daddy goes today, at least I say I know he's ready to go. Come on. And you know what? <laughs> I get to ask the Lord about things, and the Lord said, What is your purpose? Come on. I said, What do you mean, Lord? So, what is the purpose of this world? Come on. I said, Lord, serving to my dying days. Come on. He said, Yes. When your last breath, when they lay you in that ground, 
That's when I take over. That's when I'll take over. That's when your life just begins. When he resurrects you to get up out of the grave. You know what? If you die in Christ, your life just begins. But you know what? We preach a lot about heaven. But there's a hell too. I said there's a hell just as real as heaven. And my Bible tells me the hell enlarged daily of people sitting back and not telling them the truth. I'm not one of these preachers. We're going to preach you happy just to keep you. Hey. I know one of these preachers is going to preach you happy just to get your time, honey. On. I know one is going to tell you what thou saith the Lord. Come on. You know what, church? we got to build. But I said, my wife all go. We've been in a lot of churches, preaching different churches. But I felt something I hadn't felt in a while in this place tonight. I got out today. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. I said, the Spirit of the Lord, there's something that you should be excited when you walk through those doors. You can feel the presence of the Lord. I was preaching that night in the Baptist church and I said, People say, Lord, pour out your spirit in this building. Yeah, I'm all. But you know what? The Lord don't really want to pour out his spirit in the building. Spirit in the building. He wants to pour out his spirit in you. Yeah. He wants that vessel yeah. that's willing to be used. Yeah. Hey, when we walk in the doors, Brother Sleece, he should walk in with us because he is in us. You know what? We can't carry just Monday through Friday and live like the world all week long and think to come to church Sunday and feel the Spirit of God. Come on, say it. We got to live. Go ahead, brother. Come on, brother. And flip, when we all quote this, flipping 13, brother, I kill not myself to have, but the this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind Come on. and reaching forth into those things which are before. Yeah. I press towards the mark for the prize Come of the on. high calling yeah. of God in Jesus, in Christ Jesus. Exactly. You know what I told me just a couple verses there? It's going to be a press. Yes, Come sir. On. It's going to be a press. Yeah, yeah, man. Sir, you got that wrong. When I was passionate in our city, so this man, remember I had a guy come to the altar. He got saved. And next Sunday he come back and he said, you know what, brother? I said, what? He said, the devil ain't fought me all week long. Uh -oh. I said, brother, let's go back to that altar again. Yeah. I said, because when you give your life to God, the devil's going to fight you. Absolutely. I said, he's going to fight you because he knows he's losing. But you know what the Lord's going to tell me today? There's things we got to let go of. Oh, There's things that are behind me right. that we're trying to carry baggage. Oh. That, that is just hindered. You know why I'm tired of people. I preach this a lot, but I'm tired of people saying God took this away and they put it in their closet. And you know what you're going to do when you get weak? The devil's going to remind you, hey, that's in the closet. That's still there. You go dig out your old bones again. And you get to do that. But God, when He delivered you, it's time to destroy it out of your life and get rid of it. Good kind of baggage. Trying to pull you down and weigh you down. Oh my God. Because we we carry things around that we don't need to carry. Or put them in the closet. Or put them in the closet. But we need to press torch of that mark of the prize of the high calling. I hear so many people say, devil get behind me. Yeah. I don't want the devil get behind me. Yeah, that ain't far enough, is it? I don't want him to get behind me. The Bible tells me to put him under the soles of my feet. I got a right to walk on the devil to the devil walking on me. Put him under the soles of your feet. The devil's tricky. You put him behind your back, he's going to stab you right in the back. He's going to be there. You won't be able to see what's behind you. He said the tears. When I lay down at night, I pray, Lord, don't let the devil set those stairs for me to fall. Because when you sleep, the devil's trying to put in something that he can get your mind off of God. And the Bible said, those that keep their mind upon the Lord, I will keep them in perfect peace. But do you know what? The devil's trying to destroy your mind. Because when the devil gets your mind off of Jesus, yeah. then he pretty well wants to get you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the worst thing with sinners when they get saved? Come on. They come to church, and the first thing the devil says, they don't care about you. Right. Miss one service and see how many come to see you. Come on. Miss it. 
and you mess up when you but they don't care. Come on. Amen. The devil tries to plan stuff in your mind. Amen. Yes, amen. He tried to plan stuff in your mind. Yeah. He said, Brother, do you hear? What I say, you don't, I'll be lying. Well, yes, he on. does. Come on. Yes, he tries to tax your mind. Amen. All of us. Because he do not want us to focus on the Lord. Yeah. But you know what? Scripture says that. But you know what? It's hard, Brother Billy, to keep your mind focused all on the Lord all the time. Yeah. So many trials in this world. Yeah. So many negative talk. Yeah. So much discouragement. Yeah. But you know what? That tells me we're a little bit closer. Yeah. But the Bible's fulfillment. I don't care who's in the White House. He ain't going to do much good. This Bible's going to be fulfilled. When it gets fulfilled, it don't matter who's there, who's not there. It's going to be done. Come on. Exactly. But I do thank God old Clinton didn't get it. I throw rocks. I go back to rocks. You gotta watch sometimes in church. Amen. Amen. That's the truth anyhow. Because God's the only one can work a miracle, and that would take a miracle to get it straightened up again. Come on, come on. But we need somebody. You know what's wrong with the world today when they took prayers? Come on. Out of their schools. Right. Out of the courthouse. Yeah. My nephew getting to pray in school. My brother tells him to pray and stuff. They get to teaching this book that they had to read. It's about witchcraft. Yeah. So he go home. My, my yeah. nephew tells him, Dad, said, Dad, they called my brother and told him, said, uh, your son's acting up. He ain't doing what we're telling him to do. Oh. And so he go tall. He said, "What's the problem?" He said, "Dad, you always told me not to read stuff like this." He Come said, on. "What are you talking about?" Come on, bring it out. And he said, "Well, this right here is just talking about witchcraft and stuff." Yeah. And my brother said, "No, he don't read that." Yeah. And they said, "Well, if he don't read, he had to stand out here in the hall by himself, yeah. away from him." And my brother said, "No, he's not going to be punished because for what he stands for." Oh. He said, "I tell you what, he can do." When they're in there reading that book, he can read his book. Oh, and they said, no, we can't do that. He said, well, I can't do that. But we need somebody to stand up and tell the devil enough is enough. Yeah, exactly. Enough is enough. Yeah. My wife homeschools her daughter because you know why? We don't want to send her to that garbage. Yeah. We don't want to send her there because you never know what the devil's trying to plot. That's exactly. They say, well, we got guards. We got this, we got that. But you don't know what time one of the teachers is going to go crazy. Yeah. I mean, you don't know anymore. I've been serious. But that's what we got to do. We got to keep our mind focused and forget those things behind me. But don't get me wrong, Brother Billy, Brother Sleeves. I want to forget everything that's behind me. But I never want to forget where God's brought me from. I don't want to forget where He brought me from. I once was a drug addict. I once was a drunker. But now I'm still getting high. I'm still getting drunk. But I just changed hands. Oh, I love getting high in the Holy Ghost. I was in a tree for a friend the other day, and a guy came out there talking. He said, I bet you need a cold one day. Uh -oh. And I said, no. He said, I like getting drunk. I said, oh, man, I do too. <laughs> he said, do you? I said, yes, I do. And David looked at him and said, he ain't talking about what you get drunk. Yeah. Right. I said, no, I'm talking about when I get drunk in the Holy Ghost. Oh. He said, well, you know what? My mama always used to like doing that. Uh -oh. I said, well, what about your mama? It ain't going to get you there. Right, you got to get this for yourself. Yeah. You don't want people to stay around you very long just start talking about it. Come on. They're going to leave or they'll start talking with you. Come on. But we got to be a lot. Preach. And soon as I know I'm getting sidetracked, but y'all know I do trees. My dad used to always go with me. First thing he wanted to tell everybody, well, my son's a preacher. Praise and I told Dad, I said, man, don't be telling Mama preacher. He said, well, son, you can't be ashamed of it. Amen. I said, I'm not one bit ashamed of it, but they should be able to see something in me to realize what I am. Come on. And I said, okay, next few times, he didn't say nothing. This woman came up and she said, there's something different about you. Are you a preacher? I said, yeah, I am. Dad said, well, you're right. But you know what? We think we got to go tell everybody this and that. Yeah. But we should be living the light. They oh. can see that there's something That's different right. about us. Right. Right. I said there's something different about us. Oh. But when we, we talk like that and, and we act like that, how are we any different from the world? Come on. Church is just sugarcoating. Come on. I said church is just sugarcoating. 
Come on. Amen. We've been lied in the ministry. I preached for a person a few years ago, I ain't gonna call where, but these two guys was in the back and they was hugging up. Mm. And I said, oh my God, I gotta preach. Yeah. So I get to preach and all of a sudden I want to just get on there and preach but God wouldn't let me. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. And they say, I know, we gotta get up and they come to the altar. And I said, Good. Jesus. And the pastor came up and said, Brother, help me pray for them. I said, I sure will. Yeah. He said, They're wanting to receive the Holy Ghost. Oh my. I, I said, huh? Mm -hmm. I hit them on the back. I said, Y'all want the Holy Ghost? They said, Yeah, I said, first you gotta get your life right. Come on. I'm not going to sit there and waste my time on praying somebody get the Holy Ghost when they're not saved. Come on. We, we got to say, blinded that you think you live the way you want to. Come on. And you're all right going to heaven. But there is a narrow and straight way. Yeah. And then I tell you, it's going to be hard. Yeah. It tells me that we're going to have to forget those things Come that on. the Bible does. There are things that weigh us down. Come on. How many know we love doing things? There's nothing wrong going fishing. Come There's on. nothing wrong doing that. But you got seven days a week. You don't have to wait till church day to go. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. It ain't nothing wrong watching a ball game on TV, but you don't have to miss church to sit there and watch it. Come on now. We got other gods, but he tells me I am a jealous God. I don't have no other God before me. Everybody think it's pretty bad. You go down to the river, you see a lot of people unloading the boats. Come on. Exactly. They forgot their first love. Right. Yes. They forgot that first love. Yeah. Very first message I ever preach. God do not want to be a spare tar in your trunk yeah. that you only pour him out when you need him. Yeah. Come on, man. He wants to be number one in your life or yeah. nothing in your yeah. life. Yeah. You can't hold one hand to God and one hand to the devil. Yeah. He yeah. says, you're lukewarm, I'll speed you out of my mouth. Yeah. He wants somebody to rise up and say, here I am, Lord, send me. Yeah. Here I am, Lord, use me. Yeah. Here I am. Church and go with it. But it's got to be somebody is dedicated to be like Daniel. Pray when no one else prays. Come on, yes. brother. Amen. Amen. Preaching. Prayer works. Come on. Yeah. You can ask my wife this. This ain't no joke. This is true. If they led one service, had the soul calling service. Just pray till you see them saved. Right. And we was there at church one day and we began to pray. And they told me, I said, my daddy's coming tonight. I said, okay, that's good. At least changed. I hope so. I said, no, you believe so. We got to get that positive attitude. Amen. We get to pray and we get to preach. And her daddy was sitting there looking at me, him and his wife and him, just looking at him and I kept preaching. You can tell the spirit was all over them. But I ain't the one want to drag you out of your pew and get you coming because they ain't going to do no good. Come on. Come on. Say it. And they sat there and I kept on preaching. And I said, God is dealing with them. And I told him, I said, you pray like Daniel prayed. You come up here and pray. And she got there and prayed and prayed. And I tell the church, I said, pray, 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 pray. Yeah. I said, don't stop. I said, even the kids. I said, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing I know, he grabbed his wife over and they was at the altar. And that night, seven got saved. Yeah. And that's why we started next service. We began to pray and people started coming in and getting saved. That's what it's all about. But somebody got to be a Daniel to seek God's face. God, save them. Come on, yeah. You said, well, that's the pastor, John. No, that's what you got wrong. Pastor John, we paired up and feed the flocks. Oh, to feed them when they get here. Right. Now he said the pastor can't go to the wrong. But you know what, church? We need it. Don't we? Amen. When I was passionate in Central City, I had a guy come in. I don't know if I think it's the least may have been there then. Mm -hmm. This guy come in, he came in like three times. Brother Billy, he was about drunk. Mm -hmm. You remember that, don't you? Oh, yeah, we, we, we found him out there on the road walking and he around came out there. In. Yeah, of course, at least one brought him. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good thing. Amen. And he come in and he come up there and he started asking people to marry him and stuff and just starting to serve us. So people said, you want to talk to him? I said, I will. So at the church, I go up to him and all I could say was, well, I was glad you's here. And I went back and back to the second time, that's all I could say. And the second time I said, brother, I said, brother. I don't know why I said that. But the third time, I said, I got to do something. 
Right. Yeah, he was sick. It was strength of service. Right. You can't just let keep going on. That's right. So I go up to him. And I couldn't say nothing. But you know what? The next service he came in, he said, Brother, I've been hearing you preaching about deliver. Can you deliver me? I oh. said, I sure can't, mm -hmm. but I know the man that can. Oh, yeah. He right. said, I've been about every church around since I went in to kick me out. Amen. He oh. said, I tried to get you to, and you wouldn't do it. <laughs> and we baptized him. Right. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes they just look at an excuse, but God wouldn't let me do that. Yes. They wouldn't let me not have a lot of people come against me. I don't listen to man. I listen to what thou said to the Lord. Oh. Yeah. When you listen to what thou said to the Lord and to the church, oh. you can't go wrong. Yes. We gotta be a helpmate. Yes. People's kicking them down every day. Amen. People send them to hell every day. Yes. I know no one can send no one to hell. Yes. Oh. Only one can send you to hell today is Jesus Christ Himself. Oh. Exactly. Now we can't do a righteous judgment. I mean, you know by the fruit they bear. Yeah. But brother Billy, I can't tell nobody they're going to hell. Because you never know God can save them. Exactly. When they leave this world. Yeah, true. Hey, a lot of people say I never amount to nothing. Yeah. In my own family. So you never amount to nothing because all I was, was was a thief. I stole my grandma's wedding band and stuff to just sell it to get money to get yeah. drugs. Yeah. I'm all right. You don't know what you do when you're bound by addiction. I'm all right. A lot of my family turned against me. Right. Never amount to nothing. But when I found Jesus, I amount to something. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times we think, well, they're in jail, but jail's a good thing yeah. sometimes. Come on. I was at bottom, Brother Billy, and I couldn't run. Come on. This is old times when they had on TV Amazing Grace. You remember when they used to play those songs sometimes? I heard that song Amazing Grace. How sweet thy sound. Come on. I said, Lord, I know you're real. Yes. But I have I went too far? Oh, come on now. Have I played around too much? Come on, Amen. work it out. And I heard this still voice and I love you. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna cry in jail. I gotta be a big guy. Everybody's watching me. Yeah. So I rolled over my bar towards the wall, tears running down my eyes. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I felt something come in that jail cell and get a minister to me. Like I never felt before. Oh, they told my mama to be up there Sunday. The same because they're getting ready to send me to the pit. Come on. And then Monday got up and they said, Ronnie, you're on the dock to go to court. What am I going to court for? Now I'm in the sentence. When I go to court, they called me up and he said, Ronnie, this and this and this. And he said, I feel like we may not give you a fair trial. He said, we're going to give you one more chance. You will be released in this place today at 6 o'clock. Oh, oh, glory to yeah. God. Ain't God good? He can even change the judge's mind. But you know what? Sometimes we get a church, a jailhouse religion. Yeah, boy. Come on. We get it while we're in there and say, Lord, I'll start when we get out. But when we get out, we forget what we say. Yeah. My brother done that for about four months, but guess where he's at today? He's back in the jail. He can't make God a vow and not keep it. Right. But you know what? I still believe in one day. God can deliver him. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. True. I can't deliver you. You can't deliver them. Right. You know what? God won't deliver them if they don't want it. Come on, Come say on. it. They gotta want it. That's it. Because he loves us enough. He said, choose this day whom you will serve. Right. Yeah, He's not a forceful God. Amen. He's a loving God. Yes. But you know what? I went into a rehab. Yeah. And this is my brother. And he told me I was coming off of drugs and and stuff, and they asked me to give me a testimony how did I get off of it. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong mistake. I said, I didn't get off of it by no rehab. I'm on. Really? I didn't get off of it by that. I got off of it by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, really? I'm on. And they said, oh, no, 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 no. We can't, we can't bring in religion. Yeah, they don't want to hear yeah. that. That's, that's the way I got yeah. it. You asked for my testimony. <laughs> you asked for it. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you. I wasn't going to lie. I said, now I'm not down on rehab stuff because they can't on. No, get you off the streets. Right. But I'm saying it's going to take the blood of Jesus. Apply to your life. Preach. 
to deliver you. And Brother Sweets, I can't stand here today and say that it's been over 17 years, almost 18 years, since I drunk a beer, since I smoked a cigarette, since I did anything. When God delivered me, He delivered me. I got some upset yet tonight, but that's all right. Still going to tell it. I might get some set here today, but just forgive me. But I said I don't believe in having a Bible study, having a Bible in one hand, a cigarette in the other hand. Come on. Amen. Praise you know why? Because this is holy word. Exactly. So you're judging? No, I'm just taking my opinion. Mm -hmm. But we got to forget those things are behind. Come Amen. On. Let go. That's right. Let go and press. How many feel like it's been a press? Amen. Come on. Even come to church sometimes. Yeah. Wait sometimes yeah. I'm not alone. Come on. Sometimes it's a press. On Saturday when you stayed up late and that bed's feeling good. Right. And, and he's like, oh God, I gotta get up. Yeah. Oh. The next thing you know, I think I got a little headache. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. my head's hurt a little bit. I don't think I'm going to that. Come on now, let it preach. So many times. Come on. We'll lose us our. Yeah. Roy tell me about a member in his church. One time he didn't know where there's two people at. They come that night and said, Why wasn't you here Sunday morning? He said, My wife burnt my biscuits and she had cooked more. Oh so they my. It. See, we sold out a service over a biscuit. Right. Mm. That's when we don't have the czar to go to the house. Come of on now. When you got a czar that you ain't worried about. Come on, brother. Come on. Biscuits. Bring it yeah. out. But I mean, we always talk about Dalton Thomas. Yeah. But how many times have we been Dalton Thomas? That's right. Come on. How many times have we been a Dalton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. I got in trouble by God the other day. In the ignorance. I was working on myself. I got mad at my soul. I just pitched on the post office. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And oh God, it just something hit me. Yeah. You don't take his name like that. Come on. Come on. And I had to repent. Come on. Yeah. But you know what I said? Lord, don't reform your Holy Spirit for me. Come on. The Holy Ghost. I thank God I got the Holy Ghost to convict me. Yes, sir. Come on. Mm -hmm. And I just think I was calling up on Jesus, don't you? But you cannot call up on him in anger. Come on, yeah, bro. Really? Come on. really? It's reference. Bring it Come out. on. It's reference. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. It's easy sometimes to get sidetracked. Come yeah. on. But I thank God I got the Holy Ghost to convict me when I do wrong. Exactly. Come on. I didn't have to have my wife to tell me I do wrong. Come Come on. On. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on. People ask me, do you got to have the Holy Ghost to make the heaven? I said, why would you want to go without it? <laughs> why would you want to go without it? That's your power. That's the power that you got to fight the devil. For Billy, I didn't have the Holy Ghost, sometimes I don't know I can make it or not. But the Holy Ghost gave me power. He gave me that strength. Come on. My man got the Holy Ghost 16, 17 years ago. But every once in a while, I still got to go to the altar and refresh it. Come on. Come on. It's fresh, and don't get me wrong, but you get weak. That's right. Then my wife went to the church one time, and we was going up there and praying. We had people praying over us. God save us. God save us. And I was praying, God, give us strength. Right. Yeah. People know that I'm saying, we've been talking about that. We encourage you to go up there and pray for people. You got one praying God heal them, one praying God save them, one praying this, and one praying this. Why you ain't seen God move your prayers? Not in unity. Come on. That's right. When you get it in unity, the Bible says three, four chords, not easy broken. Amen. When you get in unity, you can agree right. on what you need God to do. Amen. Come on. You'll see blinded eyes open. Yes, Come sir. On. You just see the lame man to walk. Absolutely. You let somebody get healed from a wheelchair and tell them about church fill up. Yeah. But the greatest miracle ever is when somebody comes this altar. Come on. And gives their Save life to God. Right. That's a new man. That's yeah. the old man that's dying right. out. Amen. I said that's the old man dying out. Amen. And a new man rising up. Absolutely. The Bible said they don't know whole armor of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do we got the whole armor on? Come on. Do we? Amen. Do we? I've been serving the Lord, like I said, almost 18 years, but I found out daily there's still things I can give up. Right. Come on. 
there's still things I can let go. True. Yeah. Amen. You know what we say? We ain't got time to pray anymore. We ain't got time to go to church anymore, but we'll get up 10.30 at night and go to Walmart. Right. Come on. Yeah. Show I'm being serious. It's a stampede in there. Amen. Come on. Well, we get up and go fix some neat and stuff. Yeah. But we have to say, well, I'm so busy anymore, I ain't got time to pray. Come on. Never neglect your prayer life. Yeah. Never neglect to spend time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Come on. Never. Right. I've been to times that I can't even hold my head up. Come on. I felt so damp. Right. I couldn't even pray, Brother Billy. Come on. But all I could say was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's right. Amen. But when I said Jesus just a few times. Yeah. Come on. The Bible said that to mention of his name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, He's getting fear and tremble. Yeah. So when I just said Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus, oh, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Next thing you know, I felt loads going to fall off. Yeah. Fall off. Oh. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Next thing I know, I got a hand up. Jesus, oh. Jesus, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Next thing I know, I got my hands up. They say, you know, I got my feet up. I'm walking on the yeah. devil now. Yeah. I put him on the side of my feet. Yeah. I'll get my victory. Yeah. He said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Why well, we ain't got strength no more. We ain't got no joy anymore. We don't let the world take our joy. Yeah. We're selling out for fame. Oh. We're selling out for the worldly things. But I can sit here today and say, I'm not for sale. I've not been bought by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. It's not been paid for. Yeah. Woo. Oh, my God, we're here. Yeah. Oh, just one drop of blood cleans an old rest like me. Amen. Come on. My blood won't do nothing. All right. I got myself on my run. But when the blood of Jesus, just one drop. Yes, sir. Power. Just one drop. I want you to think just a minute about the blood. I know I'm all scattered, but I'm one with God. But you know what you think about? Did he not load, not get heavy? Come on. When he's carrying that cross. Amen. Come on. We'll do well carry a cross for a Christian. Right. Yeah. But he carried a cross for a sinner. Amen. Yeah. The world. Yeah. Right. He loved us so much. Amen. That's how much He loved us for. Come on. He could call 12 legions of angels down. Exactly. But He didn't. Right. Only one time He looked in the garden and said, Father, Father, have thou forsaken me. Amen. Can you imagine His mother, mm. where He's beaten so much, couldn't even recognize Not really? Him. Yeah. You know, one of our kids hurting. I mean, Billy's talking about brothers in the hospital and we can't really find out, but just here and there. Mom's word to death. Yeah. But could you imagine Mary when her son was nailed to the cross? Come on. And you think nail, they didn't really use no like eight penny nail. All right. It's more like a spike. Amen. 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 Yeah. But he knew that one day that we was going to need a savior. Yeah, exactly. Come on. He took the whipping, the stripes across his back, True. the pressing of the thorns. Right. I do true, I get a thorn in my finger. I can't hardly stand it. I'm taking a needle trying to yeah. get it out. Yeah. Right. But can you imagine the thorns that just pressed down mm -hmm. on his head mm -hmm. and piercing him in the side? Yeah, I'm all. But never once did he get mad. Come on. He's more than a man. Oh, yes. Amen. I said, He's more than a man. Amen. He's my Savior. Amen. Amen. I never felt I love my wife, but I never felt love till I found Jesus. Amen. Come on. There you go. When I found Jesus, Come on, tell it. I found that true love. Mark it out. In the midnight hours when nobody's around, you can still say, Jesus, I need a talk. Come on. And He's there. Right. So many times I've been in my room and by myself and just say, Jesus, I need you. Yeah. But me and my wife got this thing. Well, anytime we go in a vehicle, she'll go down the road and just go to lose earnest and pull over and pray. Yeah. Sometimes I got to get that me and Jesus time. 
So I get a vehicle just going down the road and listen to worship music. And, and you know it had to be Jesus to take over because I'm going like this and just praise the Lord and just shouting all in my vehicle. Yeah. But that's being my God time. Sometimes we need that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Amen. Billy may be this pastor of this church. Come on. But Billy can't go to heaven for you. Come on. Amen. I can't go to heaven for you. Amen. You ain't gonna go on nobody else's shirt too either. Come on. You gotta be born again yeah. yourself. Exactly. Oh, what a day that's gonna be when he split the eastern sides. Amen. Guys. But oh what a sad day it's gonna be for many. Yeah, for many, it's going to be a sad oh, day. Yeah, it is. Amen. It's going to be sad for so many. Oh, yeah. That's right. But you know what? He said, Lord, Lord, hadn't I prophesied in thy name? Come on. Hadn't I cast out devil in thy name? Right. Well, really, I read the Bible, but I never read what he said they didn't. Come on. Yeah. I believe there's going to be some that did. Right. Maybe preached the gospel and went back on him. Come on. The church are today, what are we standing on? Right. We ain't going to be able to stand on the government. Amen. The government's going to fail you. True. We ain't going to be able to stand. We've got to stand on Jesus. Yes, sir. Come on. we got to stand on the Word of God. Yes. Yeah. I found nothing else can satisfy me like yeah. this book. Amen. Amen. This book. Yeah. Exactly right. The King James. Come on. Amen. Come on. The only we try to change it around and make it easier to read, they say. Right. Yeah. Amen. But I want to stand on the truth. Amen. Come on. It's not to be watered down. Yeah, really? Yeah. Really? It's not to be all changed around yeah. and your right. life. Yeah. Amen. Come on. New and improved. New and improved. Yeah. New generation. Now guitar people say, this is a new generation. Yeah, but this is still the truth today. Yes. Exactly. Still the same today. Come on. Still the same. Yeah. True. But we better care that there's one thing about it. They can never take the word of God from me. Come on. Amen. The main, this may may again, I may not be able to buy another Bible. Yeah. But Lord planted down inside of me. Exactly. Teach me the word. Right. And I have enough to live. Amen. I'm tired of being empty. Yeah, come on. I mean, in your relationship with God, you felt empty sometimes. Come on. Yeah. There's been times, I mean, that's my wife. I had people come up and say, Brother, can you pray for me? Mm -hmm. I had to pray for myself before I would pray for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Come on. Well, we've got people that's praying, getting healed from depression and stuff, and people up there depressed praying for them. Yeah. yeah. See it. Maybe both of them get it. Mm -hmm. Come on. But what are we doing today for Jesus? Come on. As we're going to stand, brother, somebody can they play a song? And everybody can, will, we'll tell you whatever, just stand to your feet or whatever you